Hello, welcome to a Informatica cloud tutorial video. My name is Fernando Guerrero, and in this video, we are going to talk about how to improve the lookup performance on your mappings. Through this video, we are going to see what is a lookup transformation, why it's important to turn up the mappings when using lookups. Uh, we will see a demo about the tips that we have for this. And also, I will show you links to documentation so you can read more about this topic. The first thing is what is a lookup transformation? It is a transformation that allows you to query data from a lookup table. You define what is your lookup condition and when the incoming data match that condition, you are able to return the lookup fields that you are looking for. Um, you can send this information to your target or to any other transformation. Why is it important to tune up your mappings when using lookups? Well, if you don't uh, if you don't tune your mappings correctly, lookups are going to use excessive amount of memory and also CPU. So you have to make sure uh, to optimize them in order to use your resources in the best way. If you have a lot of data, you could cons you could consume all the resources that you have for your agent. So the next thing is we are going to watch a video that shows some of the tips that you can apply to the lookups and you can apply this to connected lookups or unconnected lookups all of them is the same so now we are going to work on a simple mapping uh, the tips and advice that i will give you here you can apply those ones in your mappings regardless of how complex they are uh, so usually you have uh, like a source of information uh, or in your mapping, maybe you have lookups in the middle of your mapping. That's fine. Uh, what I want to show here is like you have data that is coming into uh, your lookup. So we have that element in this case, it's going to be a source and we are going to create our lookup. Uh, for this example, we are using a lookup, a connected lookup, but you could also have unconnected lookups and the tips and advice are, are the same for both of them. Okay, uh, so when you have your lookup, you have data that is coming into your lookup. And for example, in this source, uh, we have one object and here we have the fields uh, that we are going to load from, from the database. Uh, when, when you send your information to the lookup and this information is not sorted, uh, the data integration service is going to spend more processing time and spend more memory trying to sort that information. So this creates a bottleneck and we don't want that. Uh, so whatever, if, whatever step that you have before your lookup, try to sort the data uh, based on one of the columns that you are going to use for your lookup uh, transformation. For example, in this case, uh, instead of just getting all the data from this object, uh, we should uh, use a specific query uh, and I can, I, can, I can replace that one uh, with a query. And you know what, I want to bring everything from the source. Uh, but I want to order the information by the city because I know this column will be used in my lookup. Now, if you have uh, you have multiple steps here, maybe you have expressions, you have other transformation before your lookup. Uh, there is one step, there is one transformation that you can use uh, to sort all the information just in case um, you don't have that one in the, in the select query. So here you see this one, this one is a sorter transformation. So, um, yeah, you, you could have that one in, in the middle, just in case here you have expression or any other transformation before you look up. But the idea is to always, uh, sort the data that is coming into your, into your lookup, uh, in the same way. Uh, when you create your lookup um, transformation, 
instead of just bringing all the information from one table or uh, like selecting the uh, the object uh, it's better to also uh, create a query so I am going to select my my database here uh, my, my connection and instead of bringing the the object I want to specify a query and I am going to write a query and I, I am going to sort the information by the same column and the same order that I did for my incoming data. This is going to save you so much processing time and memory in, in your service. Okay. Uh, another thing that you have to, to do is go to the advanced uh, uh, setting and search for this, this setting, call it sorted input. He, because you are writing the queries uh, to sort the information that comes from here and the information from the lookup, you want to indicate that this data is already sorted. If you don't do it, uh, the data integration service is going to try to sort the information. So it's going to spend memory and CPU trying to sort the information again. So don't forget about specifying this, this setting here. Okay. Uh, another thing that you can do to improve the performance is check. Um, okay, let's go to select the your lookup condition. Okay, so well in this case uh, the names are very similar from my in, uh, from my source to my lookup. So I am going to create a prefix to to make a difference between incoming data and lookup data. Okay, so let's go to create a lookup condition. So I want to look up my information based on the city. I want to make it equal. And when you have these two columns that you want to compare, uh, make sure that you are using only the precision that you truly require. Uh, for example, in this case for city, we see city has a precision of 30. I have seen mappings where the precision is like 200, 4,000 sometimes. And this is an incredible waste of memory and it's going to slow down your mapping really, really bad. So make sure that the precision is not that high. Use only what you need and that, that's all. That will save you uh, a, lot of, a lot of memory. Uh, so let me see what do we have here. Okay, so this is this is valid now. Uh, so this is what you have to do in the mapping. Remember, always sort your information, your incoming information, sort um, your lookup information, come to the advanced uh, section and select sorted input and check the precision of your fields. So this is what you can do in the, in the mapping. Uh, but also in the mapping task, uh, there are other few things that, that you can do to improve the performance uh, of your process. So it's going to create a, a new mapping task. Uh, let me choose my environment. And here in the next step, in the schedule step, you come to the advanced session properties and you are going to add two new properties. One of them is called Pre-build lookup cache, and you are going to specify always allow. So basically, with this one, when the mapping start running, it's going to allocate all the memory that you need for the cache from the beginning. Uh, and the second, the second property that you are going to add is called additional concrete pipelines for lookup cache creation. So what does this mean? In the mapping that I show you right now, we have only one single lookup. Uh, you want to have one concurrent pipeline for every lookup that you have in your mapping. For example, if we had uh, four connected lookup and three unconnected lookups, 
in our mapping, that's a total of seven uh, lookups. So in that in, in that scenario, I will come here and I will specify the number seven because I want to create uh, one pipeline for each of my lookups and what and together with the previous uh, setting is going to build a cage for each of those pipelines. This is going to save you a lot of time and a lot of processing power in your mapping. So these are the, the advice that, and tips uh, that you can use at the mapping level and at the mapping task level to improve the performance uh, when you are using lookups. If you want to find more information about lookup transformation, you can visit the following links. You will find more uh, detailed information there. If you have any feedback or anything that you would like to suggest us, please send us an email to informatica.com. I appreciate your time and thank you for your interest in Informatica Cloud Solutions.